Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back to Flight Simulator Fun with Swiss 001. Yes, we're back in the Microsoft Flight Simulator today, and uh, we're at a very interesting place indeed. Yeah, welcome back to Norway, and uh, we are today at the airport of. Uh, let me just check Google right here. Sandan or Sandane or something. It's, uh, it says it's right here. Sandane. Yeah, it's uh, pronounced Sundana, I guess. All right, <laughs> welcome to Sundana Airport, which as you can tell is a very interesting airport, indeed. Yes, indeed, this is one of the more interesting airports you can find here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator for sure. Uh, has a barely thousand meter long runway, actually, uh, which can get spicy a little bit sometimes. What also can get a little spicy here as well is the weather that you can find here. In fact, uh, weather is probably the worst part about this airport, but more on that later. Yes, indeed, just like many other interesting airports up north here in uh, Norway, this airport is a commercial airport, meaning that there are actual airlines having a scheduled service here. Actually, no, there's only one airline flying here, and that's uh, the good old Widero Airport. Yes, we all know this airline from other places that it flies to. Actually, they, they connect this place with five airports here. And, um, well, <laughs> they're flying a good old Dash 8 one. 100 here, you know, one of the smaller turboprop airliners that don't need a long runway, which is good because this is again 970 meters long. But whatever, let's oh, we have actually crashed into the water while scrolling through Wikipedia. Let's just not care about all these runway limitations that we have on planes, such as fly some bigger planes here and maybe use it as some sort of uh, bigger airport than it actually is. Huh? Yeah, for example, we can try landing somewhat of a I don't know, you know what, let's just actually just jump into a jet already. How about a Cessna Citation Longitude, the biggest plane that I would think would ever be able to fly here at all. I think the longitude needs a longer runway than a thousand meters, but wait, 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 I don't care about that. All right, on approach now. Actually, there's not too much to talk about this airport. I mean, you know, it's an airport built in 1975. It's only had one runway extension ever since it was built, and that was only like by a hundred meters or so, and so that it has that runway that was built in 1975 still. Um... And uh, that, that can be a problem in bigger planes, but we're going to find out exactly about that today. Yeah, this is probably not that much of a 747 airport or something. Even though we're going to totally fly a 747 here later on as well. Okay, let's go ahead and try to use most of this runway here in the Citation Longitude, because I'm not really trusting this plane too much. Fine, that has been a good old touchdown. And let's go ahead and stop properly, which uh, I think has worked. I mean, obviously, <laughs> we shouldn't already be struggling with this plane, even though we're getting somewhat close to the other end of the runway. Now, yeah, the placing of this airport is actually pretty interesting, I think. It's more of a plateau that is built on. You know, I'm pretty sure they had to flatten out this area a lot to actually make this runway not, you know, super slopey, duh. And also just to place this apron here, uh, they had to uh, cut this uh, mountain or something. They had to, like, flatten out this uh, little hill here, because that's the problem about Norway. Obviously, there's this is not flat land. <laughs> I mean, as you can tell, there's just fjords and these mountains everywhere. So you can struggle building proper airports here, which, uh, you know, is a big thing here. And actually, right beneath the runway here, there's this tunnel here that cars pass through, as you can tell. Uh, because, again, this is not, you know, a big area. Okay, then, let's actually fly some bigger planes here. Um, <laughs> I mean, we can try some airliners, which is, I mean, you know, the HG-20, for example, we're already getting to somewhat of critical area, huh? <laughs> yeah, because this plane is definitely not made to fly on a thousand meter long runway, but we can try anyway, of course. All right, runway's down there. Definitely the approaches here into these airports are quite extreme, obviously. With these mountains, you have to at least, you know, stay above the water here and then come in for a sharp turn or you fly above the mountains and then you're gonna end up doing a emergency descent of some sort. Jesus Christ. See, we're already struggling with this right now. Just with the approach, we're way too high on the speed, uh, but we're gonna try our best right now. 200 knots. <laughs> yeah. All right, landing gears down. Everything's ready. Let's go ahead and get this plane landed down there. I'm on runway zero eight. Okay, come on. Ten. All right, come on. Can we get this landed? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Damn. Okay, that that's been uh, pretty close, right there. I mean, you don't want to overrun this runway at, uh, at all. Jesus Christ. I'm quite not quite sure about flying something like a 747 here. But what we can try next is a plane that can fly again, especially here in Europe. 737 Max. How about that? And the thing is, here at this airport, you're especially facing the challenge of turbulence. You know, that's very common here, especially like in mountain <laughs> regions, right? Or forests as well. You know, for example, wind has uh, structures to face, right? And that creates a lot of, you know, fucked up winds, to put it that way. 
right? Or something. Uh, welcome to Physics 001. And uh, that's uh, really uncomfortable here at this airport. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead. Also, what's uncomfortable here is the frames per second. Why is my computer so poorly performing? All right, talking about uh, performance, let's go and test a 737 MAX runway performance. Can it fly here on a 1,000 meter long runway in Norway somewhere in the middle of nowhere? Come on, let's try this. All right, come on. Touchdown on the touchdown zone or something? That was a hard landing. You know, uh, Reiner also operates the Maxes, just to a side note. But we have stopped. Actually, we have stopped better than the A320. That's gone very, very well. But now uh, we're facing the problems of um, having to go bigger than, of course, this plane. 787? <laughs> we're gonna try our best. All right, welcome aboard the 787. Uh, this is gonna be interesting for sure. All right, why, why is the forest so broken right now? Oh, damn. All right, let's go ahead. Try this. Okay, runways ahead. We're a little fast. This is not gonna work out, is it? All right, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to get this plane somewhat stopped here on this runway, which is probably not gonna help. All right. All right, pretty hard touchdown, but that's needed here. Let's go ahead and set full power on the reverse thrust because I don't want to overrun that runway. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, I think we're stopping though. That's actually working fine. Actually, no, never mind. You can establish um, um, some uh, long haul traffic here, I guess. You can fly from the US to this place directly, which is probably going to totally work out financially, of course. So many people that want to go here, you're going to be totally able to fill your 787 here at this place. Never mind. Okay, let's try then. A 747. Go bigger, go bigger. You know. Okay, 747. Let's do this. <laughs> Damn, plane must be thinking am I a joke to you right now? I mean, <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to try this. I mean, how long is the 747? Like 100 meters? How long is the runway? 1,000 meters? Hmm. I'm just going to, again, try my best as all, uh, always or something. Uh, yeah. Okay, coming in for a nice landing right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, all right. We're, uh, and we're stopping right now. We're stopping. Uh, I don't know if we're stopping a bit before the runway ends, actually. Even though it's looking pretty good. It's looking good. It's looking all right. Getting close. Getting very close. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. what is... What is that now? We have uh, found a 747 that is magic and just... That's... Uh, Welcome back to Swiss Missouri 1. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. <laughs>